Well, in our previous lecture, we understood stanza number one and stanza number two, that is the first 30 line, 32 lines of the poem. Now, in this part of my lecture, I shall be telling you about the last stanza. Let me read the stanza first and then we shall have the explanation. Now, therefore, while the youthful hue sits on thy skin like morning dew, and while thy willing soul transpires, transpires at every pore with instant fires, now let us sport us while we may, and now like amorous birds of prey, rather at once a time devote than languish in his slow sharp power. Let us roll all our strength and all our sweetness up into one ball, and tear our pleasures with the rough strife. Though the iron gates of life, thus, though we cannot make our son stand still, it will make him run. Okay, so in this last stanza, he is in present. So in the first stanza, he talks about the hypothetical condition. Had they got enough time, they could have spent it slowly, without any worry, without any concern. They could have done everything. He would have spent 200 years on uh, praising a breast, 100 years on praising her eyes, 30,000 years to praise her uh, body parts, and at least one edge to every part, he says. So this is how. There is an exaggeration. He uses hyperbole. But then he talks about the reality here. Death is the reality, the only reality. And nobody can escape it. Therefore, now let us live in the present. While we are young, while the youthful hue sits on the skin. Okay, youthful hue sits on the skin means while we are young. He uses a simile like morning dew. So have you seen the grass in the morning? It has hue, a dew on it. And it, it vanishes after some time. So youth, young age is like that. Our young age is just like a morning dew. After some time, it will vanish, it will disappear. Young age is not eternal. It is going to it is going to vanish. We will not remain young forever. Therefore, while we are young, and while thy willing soul transpires, and while your heart aspires for love, you are willing to get love at every pore with instant fire. So while you desire for love, Okay, you have that desire of love in your heart. Now let us sport while we may. It is possible for us to make be happy. Let us enjoy the life. Let us enjoy the pleasures of life. Sport again, you know, is a kind of play. Let us play, he says. Now, like amorous birds of prey, let us enjoy. Again, he uses simile. Let us enjoy like the amorous birds of prey. Birds of prey, for example, eagle or falcon, vulture, these are the birds of prey. Therefore, let us show, actually it refers to uh, the sexual desire. While our feelings are strong, while our emotions, our desires for Love making us strong. Let's enjoy life. Later, we will not have those same feelings in our heart. Rather, at once our time devote than languish in his slow, sharp 
hour once time goes away devo means to actually eats suddenly something suddenly means time eats our egg age then language language means to be lazy to move slowly in a slow chap power once our young age will go away we become old everything will, will become slow for us let us enjoy life while we are young let us roll all our strength let us use all our power all our strength all our sweetness all our love okay up into one ball let us make it one and dear our pleasure with the rough strike so let us exploit the pleasures of life let us enjoy love making do the iron gates of life okay and dear our pleasures with a rough strike through i'm sorry for the wrong pronunciation it's through the iron gates of life okay the gates of life are made up of iron so let us try to make utmost out of the life because these gates are going to be going to open for us is we will meet them some day life will not a uh, life will end sometime so let's may try to make at most of the present our desires are still alive we have the burning desires in our heart so in the end of the poem he says thus though we cannot make our sun stand still we cannot make the sun stop for us the sun is going to run eight will make him run okay so we'll make him run for us the sun cannot stop for us but we'll make him run for us so in the last stanza he is trying to tell his beloved that they should utilize the time that youth has given to them they should enjoy life till their desires for love for sex are still alive so here what is trying to say is that their young age is going to disappear they should exploit it at every moment they should try to enjoy life let us make it more blissful let us make it happier let us make it joyous let us enjoy every moment of life at, at in the present itself because later during old age we will will not be able to do all these things so this is how the poem ends with a suggestion to his beloved he is trying to persuade her tell her how the present is important 